Oh, nice. I'm Jerry Ullman. I'm an electrician in the Navy. My first duty station was in uh, Pearl Harbor. There's a little island off the east coast of Oahu called Chinaman's Hat. Me and a couple friends like went up there. I ran off by myself. And um, my uh, roommate, Steven, went to like check up on me and uh, saw me like at the bottom and then like ran over to my friends and was like, uh, I think Jared fell. The helicopter took him off the island with a stretcher, which they hung down the stretcher, got him on it, got him to the shore, and then by ambulance and then got him to the, to the hospital. He had traumatic brain injuries um, of every kind. Doctors basically told us that there was like a 20% chance of anything behind the eyes when he would actually open his eyes. There was no signs of anything. He was just completely unconscious. And it got worse because like his feet started to drop and things quit moving that did move. And we were afraid that his brain had gotten worse. He eventually got where they wanted to get him back stateside. Pat Rudd reached out to us and gave us a choice of the five different VA hospitals that we could work with him. And for us living in Ohio, uh, Virginia being the closest one, um, that made the most sense, but the more than we investigated it, uh, we seen that they were top ranked. And that was like, it was just a godsend. It was like the military team just came in. We got the medical records, and it pretty much was the worst case scenario. Traumatic brain injury, um, multiple organs damaged, multiple fractures. When he got here, he was still in a coma. Um, not responsive, maybe some um, eye gaze, that kind of thing, but not like he is now. A lot of times with our patients, when they first start out and they're in their emerging consciousness program, as they emerge, you can do things like sitting them up on the edge of the bed, getting them up in the chair. That will stimulate a lot of things. They begin then moving them into the gymnasium where it's a little more distracting. The occupational therapist will start engaging them with moving their hands, fine motor movements, and then you'll see him, when, especially like when he plays mastermind, to be able to pick up the small little pieces and put them in a precise location that requires so much cognitive ability as far as coordinating your hand and eye movement. It's been pretty miraculous to watch this happen. There was never any downtime. When they got him here, right away we're gonna start working with him. You know, we're going to get him out of bed. We're going to get him doing things. He will be busy all day, five days a week, six days a week. And yeah, and get to keep working his mind and keep working his body. One of my therapists, uh, JT, um, he said, like, well, no matter, like, whatever way you, you cut it, you're part of a family now. I, I couldn't say it better myself. Like, literally, I have my life to thank, thank them for, you know? The support and the, um, this, what they do for me every day, you know, I, like, I can't begin to, 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 um, to thank them for.